Hello. Well, here we are for the July 30th update. I always have to think of the date. It's like when you're retired, the date is not as important sometimes. You just kind of forget. Anyway, July 30th update. Um, I know there was no update last week, but as I said uh, a couple of updates ago, uh, being on the road like we were for our family road trip, vacation slash take daughter to college thing, um, uh, internet access was kind of hit and miss in some of these hotels. I mean, they all have free Wi-Fi now, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's effective free Wi-Fi. Some hotels, man, it was awesome. Just speed and cool connection. Other hotels, yeah, it did. there was Wi-Fi there, but I could barely call it that. Um, <clears throat> so I didn't get a chance to get one out last week because we were, we were just hauling down the road and and didn't really have much of a, a connection to do a full update. And also I didn't have a lot of time to film an update because uh, boy, there were some times we'd be spending 10 hours on the road and by the time I got to the hotel, Wi-Fi connection or not, I was tired, it's time to go to bed. Because uh, we're gonna get up early the next morning and do stuff because we're not just driving, we're also, you know, we'd, you know, you'd be on the road for five hours, find a really cool thing, stop and do that for an hour and then get back on the road. So, starting out, after that little rambling bit, um, with the uh, the weight loss progress, I am so happy to report, after being on vacation for two weeks, uh, that I am at 272.2. If you recall, the last time I was able to weigh myself, I was at 274. So I lost lost 1.8 pounds while on vacation for a total of 32.8 pounds lost so far going back all the way to our fun time in uh, January when we started all this fun stuff that is uh, I'm so jazzed about that I gotta tell you what because as you know you go on vacation and stuff your uh, the potential for any kind of weight loss is low because um, you're eating out all the time and depending on what kind of vacation it is you're not necessarily always super active and in fact I, I did not get any real long hikes in in this vacation it just wasn't I wasn't able to do it I did get little stuff in for fun you know I did little walks around the Grand Canyon and a few other places and seeing all kinds of neat sites and you will be seeing that on the trip report I'll cover that in a minute um, but I didn't get like any kind of I didn't get anything over like a mile and a half or so and you know I have been for training purposes, trying to get in at least when I go on a hike, at least five miles, if not more. Um, yeah, I didn't do any of that, um, but I still ended up losing losing weight. So, and that's really cool. So, a little bit about how I think I accomplished that. First of all, I was active. I wasn't out, you know, every other day like I kind of am here, trying to do five miles or so. Um, but almost every day, I was out doing something. There's always something to do on vacation. We're going to stop and and look at stuff and, and move around and when we stayed with family in Georgia where my daughter is settling for college um, we uh, you know we're always doing stuff to get her settled going to this place and getting that and picking things up and and we did some fun stuff there too um, so you know always doing something I stayed active and um, as far as on the road um, we tried to limit as a family, it wasn't just me, the whole family tried to limit how much we ate out. And that's not just a weight loss thing, that's just a budget thing to try and do that. So we stayed at hotels that provided breakfast in the morning. And so, and that's usually in some form of a, 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 a buffet style, you know, trays and stuff like that. And so basically there, that's, that's where the main discipline came into effect for me. Um, because you know the breakfasts aren't bad and things like that so uh, generally they included something like scrambled eggs some kind of protein either little sausage patties or sausage links or ham or something like that and uh, and then a whole you know a whole slew of other things pastries donuts all that kind of stuff too bagels everything um, so basically in order to control myself I put my own rule in there because again here at home, I'm used to just doing it breakfast. I don't eat breakfast that much. It's just my body still has not rebounded from years and years of doing night shifts. So breakfast time isn't a big thing for me right now. Um, I'm used to doing like these little shakes and that's it. So it wasn't too hard, but I had to hold myself to basically what I would do is about half a cup. Um, you know, I'd eyeball it. Half a cup of scrambled eggs, 
and one serving of the whatever the protein is. I have a link of sausage or a couple of strips of bacon or one sausage patty, something like that. And I would hold myself to that. That would be my breakfast. Um, for lunch, instead of stopping at fast food or a restaurant every day, that can get expensive for one thing. Um, uh, we had an ice chest with us and when we needed to we'd resupply at a store somewhere in whatever town we're staying in and we had uh, you know picnic style food just you know some lunch meats um, I was using tortillas to make wraps um, or you know we had bread for the kids and things like that the kids had peanut butter jelly if they wanted to some Nutella um, I had some lunch meats and a little bit of cheese and, and there it is I would I would be able to measure out what I'm eating a couple of slices of lunch meat a thing of cheese little mustard mayo on top in a tortilla and, and there's lunch taken care of and uh, that worked out really well not only for our budget but as far as helping with uh, with keeping track of what I'm eating and stuff like that not eating out all the time um, and that also made it so that no matter where we were we could stop when it was lunchtime and have lunch we didn't have to find a restaurant we could just get one of the really cool uh, rest stops somewhere in the state and, and just have lunch there you know and some of those are actually quite nice so that's how we did that and then uh, dinner time was when we would uh, eat out usually at a restaurant or something like that and so that was really the big meal of the day and by then I had saved enough calories for the day that I could pretty much not worry about what I was eating at the restaurant and I'd still come in under and uh, and it worked it worked 272.2 for a loss of 1.8 pounds while on vacation that's pretty cool happy about that so that's pretty much how I did that, in case anybody was wondering, or, 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 you know, if you've got vacations planned and you're worried about that, you're trying to lose weight yourself, it can be done. Even on vacation, it can be done. You just have to, you have to have some self-discipline and, and do that. You don't, you don't eat out three meals a day every day. Um, and when you do, if you have to do that, you know, watch what you're eating. It's like with the hotel things. I could have just porked out. Those, those breakfasts aren't bad, and they have stuff. Oh, they got pastries and everything. I could have just porked out on that stuff, but I, no. Nope. This is what I'm going to eat. That's my breakfast. So, um, as far as what's coming up for the YouTube channel, I still owe you guys. Uh, there are two uh, trip reports posted already. Uh, days, uh, what did I do? Days one and two, and days, I think, three, four, five. Oh, and I also did, I think I've got three posted because uh, I also did a little one on. Uh, the days that we spent uh, in Georgia. We did a few things there. That was mostly just getting my daughter set up for college um, and visiting the family that we have there uh, just outside of Atlanta. But uh, we did get a chance to get out and do some fun stuff there and some interesting things. And so uh, there's a, that, that report is also up. So there's three trip reports and I still owe you two. I think it's uh, days, oh, I can't remember, uh, 10 through 12 and then days 13 through 15 and then we were back home. Um, so I will be getting all that stuff together and editing those and getting those out in the next few days. I'll have some time um, to get those out. Um, and then in two weeks, whew, it's coming up already, two weeks in the middle of August, I'm gonna head out with my little brother um, and his son and I believe a friend of his, um, we're going to head up to the Sierras uh, and jump on the Pacific Crest Trail that is right there near uh, near Donner, um, Donner Truckee area. And we're going to head past Castle Peak into Round Valley and, and kind of that area back there just to have a little uh, thing. We're going to go in on a Friday, um, try and pack in what we can on, on as much as we can on Friday, either finish getting into the valley or something on, on Saturday or if we can get all the way in then we'll kind of have Saturday to kind of just kind of move around the valley and have fun um, spend the night there and then we'll come back out Sunday and I'll be bringing the old GoPro and uh, stuff like that get some footage get some pictures and I'll be doing a uh, my first backpack report when I get back from that and I'm kind of jazzed for that uh, in fact on the way home uh, when we were coming home from the trip a couple of days ago on the way home uh, my amazing wife, she's really cool. She spared us some time, even though we wanted to get home. We were tired. Um, we drove right past there, so she spared us some time to stop so I could kind of look at the area. And uh, I'm happy to report that the snow apocalypse is done in that little area. Um, there's snow on the very high peaks, mostly on the north faces. 
Um, but nothing down lower. The trail is clear. It's going to be awesome. Um, and there's enough that I'm pretty sure the water's still going to be flowing. Uh, so that's cool. That's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to that trip. It's going to be a lot of fun. And hey, you know what? That's basically it for uh, this update. It's a little bit longer than I try to make them. If I can, I try and control it. But that's because there's a lot to cover and didn't do one last week. So there we go. Hiking reports coming to you guys. Backpack trip in the future coming up. Um, as far as immediately coming up uh, this week, I'm going to be pretty busy taking care of some things and, and getting stuff done around the house. So I'm not sure if I'm even going to get out this week. I might do a little bit of prepping and and, and and stuff like that next week. Get get some miles in just to get myself ready for the weekend and then it's backpack trip time. So that's what we got going on. I am really jazzed. 32.8 pounds lost so far. 1.8 pounds lost. Once again, I tell you, lost on vacation. I was on vacation. I still lost weight. And I didn't skimp, by the way. I told you the whole meal plan. When we ate out, we ate out. We didn't, like, go to some little, you know, crazy bar that, you know, veggie bar or something like that that didn't have any calories and stuff. We, we ate at places that we wanted to hit because that's our rule when we're on vacation. If you, uh, you go to places that you can't get back home. So we didn't do things like McDonald's or, or Burger King and, you know, I'm not pounding on these restaurants or anything. I'm just saying, if I want McDonald's, I can go to McDonald's. It's like, I, I got a McDonald's five minutes from my house. Um, so when I'm in New Mexico or Kentucky or Georgia, I'm not going to go to McDonald's. I can get that at home. I'm going to go somewhere that I can't get at home. So we ate at places that aren't here in California uh, and some places that I've never been to before. So awesome we had a good time so i didn't skimp on that you know that one meal a day that we did at night for dinner we went to some fun places and, and, and i ate and still lost weight that's awesome is that not awesome all right thanks as always you guys for uh for watching and keeping up with me and i really appreciate it um my numbers aren't huge but that's okay uh those of you who do subscribe i really do appreciate it um that's really cool maybe someday the numbers will climb but like I've said before, if they don't, you know what, it's okay. The subscribers I do have are awesome subscribers. And just doing this keeps me on it and keeps me going. And so that's what I'm doing. So thanks so much. Appreciate it. And uh, we will see you uh, next week in the next update.